Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and the expression, when it rains, it pours, has never been truer than today. First off, sorry about the third video today, it's just the way the world happened today, uh, but we have a new Unity bundle. Yes, we have two Unity bundles today, the uh, first two bundles since the event, uh, and this one is actually amazing, although, you know, you have to question it, are you still invested in the Unity ecosystem? If you are, this one, in my humble opinion, is an absolute no-brainer. First off, it is composed 100% of tools, and I freaking love tools, so this is a bundle that speaks to me. A lot of the stuff is either uh, game frameworks or things that make Unity Engine better, so this is a humble bundle. It is the Unity Power Tools Dev Assets Bundle. Uh, there are 29 items in here for $35 USD. Yes, the Canadian dollar sucks and quite that bad. Organized into tiers, you buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the assets below it. I'm not going to be covering these on a tier by tier basis. I'm going to run through all of these uh, when I get to the end of it. Uh, I will basically do a quick rundown of the tiers again. Uh, with Humble, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. So let's start at the very smallest tier. Uh, so the first three you will get for just $1, and we will move our way up from there. So first one we got is easy cloud a cloud-based solution for unity obviously you've got things like uh, sign in with a variety of different cloud providers if you need to have authentication for your game um pretty straightforward really uh, next up we got easy character movement again character movements these are always quite nice if you need to have a character in your game um yeah this is a character mover for doing exactly that kind of thing you can see the kind of things that it supports right there ground snapping jumping orientating to the ground so on entirely commented in c sharp code and mobile friendly there are a ton of character controllers out there but I, this one might be a great pickup and then we got 2d soft bodies for doing you know deformation effects 2d uh, graphics objects um high performance mobile friendly works on all platforms works with all major pipelines uh so if you want to do soft body deformation on 2D objects, uh, this could be a good pickup for you. So that is the $1 tier. Uh, next up, we're moving up to the median price tier. You're getting dynamic mesh combiner. I do have a feeling this was in a previous bundle, but it's basically a way of combining a ton of meshes together into like to simplify draw calls to make things go faster, uh, which is quite nice. You can see the frame rate effect of it right there. Then we get the turn-based toolkit version three. Uh, again, for creating turn-based games, uh, you can see here different uh, styles. So we've got, uh, oh, what is this called? It's hexagraphic. Uh, we got isometric here. Uh, and everything you need to basically create a turn-based style game. It's a C-sharp coding framework. Uh, yeah. So that one is there. Uh, then we got the loading screen uh, studio, which is kind of hilarious. When we get back to the summary, I, I want to show you something about the loading screen studios graphic right now. Uh, but if you need to add a loading screen to your game, that is what this is all about. Uh, works with all three major pipelines. I'd say it's easier. It has editor, uh, editor tools built in as well. Uh, and then we get the editor enhancers bundle. Now, interestingly enough, I think this is actually available on the mega bundle that's going on at Unity right now, uh, which is the 23 for 23. I'll throw that link down below as well. So if you're interested, that is a great bundle as well. That one is much more assets than tools. This is one of the few tools I think that was included in it, but this allows you to basically make a number of small quality of life improvements to the Unity editor. Things like um, folders, tab changing, coloring things, a ruler, a better inspector, and so on. Uh, so it's basically just to improve the user experience of working in the Unity editor. Something I think most people agree is something that you can do. Uh, then we got leaning animator. Uh, so adds procedural leaning animations to your animations. So if you want to do that narrow to run, but also bank while you're doing it, there you go. You are set. So uh, built-in pipeline that it, uh, works with all three major pipelines. It appears right there. Um, so yeah, you want to do procedural animation with leans. That's what this one's all about. Uh, then we got file transfer server. A lightweight plugin allows your game application to send and receive files using a UDP connection so the architecture can be decentralized. I don't know what you'd do this for in a game. Uh, I guess you could do it for dynamic additions of things, but I could definitely see if you were developing apps how this could be useful. Uh, there might be a, a bigger use here. I, I know a lot of the stuff is blocked in the world of like um, iOS or whatever, but if you need to do file transfer directly inside of your Unity application, this enables you to do so. And then we have Now We're Talking. Uh, this is a fast way for low polygon characters who have automatic animated mouths in real time synchronized to voice clips uh, and has other special features too. Uh, so there you can see 
for simple, uh, low poly characters to do uh, voice sync. You've got that guy. And then we've got Simcade Vehicle Physics, a vehicle simulation system. Uh, you see the effects in action in this video above here. Uh, easy to use, quick to set up vehicle physics tool. You can create drivable vehicles in under one minute, and it works with all three major pipelines. Next up, we have the Tune Effects Maker. Uh, so anime and cartoon effects. So for adding, you can see some of the stylized effects right here from this guy. Um, Again, unfortunately, it is ERP, so it is the universal render pipeline only. Complete Framework allows easy and creative composition of new effects in Unity with a focus on cartoon and anime-like effects. Uh, unfortunately, again, URP only. Uh, we got Smart Game Objects, so a uh, real-time visual scripting solution. It's a real-time visual scripting tool with built-in procedural animation and interactivity capabilities. Perfect solution for quickly iterating on a, f um, a film or game see some of the actions in action as we, we flip through this. Uh, I may have to go ahead and check this one out. By the way, if, if there's anything that you specifically want to see me do more detail on, do let me know and I will download it, play with it, and potentially do a video about it in the future. Uh, next up, we have AnyPath. Uh, AnyPath is a completely generic, lightning fast, A star pathfinding solution for Unity. Uh, a star pathfinding is like probably the de facto way of doing uh, 2D pathfinding, uh, and this provides a solution for it. Pretty straightforward there. Uh, we have unique projectile volumes. Uh, projectile volume number one uh, includes spells, bullets, fireballs, dark magic, arrows, and much more uh, for PC and mobile. Uh, no pipelines listed here. I can imagine this probably works for everything. Uh, we have Landscape Builder, a professional editor extension for building procedural environments mix, uh, procedural and hand-placed uh, prefabs on uh, one or multiple trains. So it does work with all three major pipelines. Uh, some features like day and weather effects do not support URP and HDRP, however, something to be aware of. So again, it is a, an editor for creating realistic, detailed, consistent landscapes as well as you know, procedurally, but also having that hand painting option there as well. And then we have Pegasus. Now, Pegasus Pegasus has definitely been in a previous bundle, by the way. So I've uh, checked to see if you've already got it, if the one you're looking for. Path-based driver animation controller for um, Unity 3D, all three major pipelines. So you can create fly-throughs, cutscenes, and so on. So if you got to basically have your characters walking around your world, Pegasus is what you could use to create that. Next up, we have Unode, another visual scripting solution. I always like these visual scripting things, so I'm always a little tempted to check them out. By the way, if you've used any of these visual scripting solutions or any of these other tools and you can share with the community, either like yay or nay, these are great or these are awful, uh, let me know in the comments down below. So you can see a visual scripting solution using a typical uh, flow graph style approach, kind of blueprints light. So graph hierarchy, fast play mode support, automatic C-sharp code generation on build, and a variety of other features. Again, if you're interested in seeing one of these more specifically in depth, do let me know, and I will do my best. Uh, UI gradient, a uh, very simple tool, cheap tool for doing, well, gradients. Uh, you see uh, how you go ahead and create them. And so you can often use gradients for um, maps and textures and such uh, inside of Unity itself. Uh, then we've got procedural lightning, high performance, and shocking lightning. Now, interestingly enough, I actually did a YouTube short about this. This was a, a featured asset um, that was actually given away as part of the, the promo. It's very cool, though. So if you missed out on that one, uh, this is basically for providing lightning in your game. A variety of different lightning effects, a, a ton of different functionality there. Uh, next up, we have Conversa Dialogue System a tool to create dialogues and conversations using visual scripting. So it's a visual scripting solution, very specifically for doing branching dialogues. Something like what you'd expect from like Ink, uh, a tool I covered a few months back. Uh, so if you have dialogues in your uh, in your world and you want to do a graph-based approach for it, could be a good pickup there. Next up, we have UAI AI Assistant. Now these are always lightweight. So it's 16 bucks. You know it's going to be a chat GPT. Yeah, it's chat GPT in implementation inside of Unity. So extension for Unity offers a variety of powerful tools powered by OpenAI's chat GPT 4 Turbo with 128K context window, 3.5 AI model, DALI 2, DALI 3. Uh, you are going to need to have um, a, a GPI, a, a chat GPT keyed probably to make this work. You can see the kind of functionality that's available there. I checked out one of these in the past one. It wasn't this, it was something similar to this. They're actually kind of cool, but there's a bunch of these out there right now. But if you don't have any, well, you're gonna get this one for free in this bundle. And next up, we have easy feedback form. 
So if you want to have bug reporting or whatever in your game, well, that's what it is all about. Works with all three major pipelines. Next up, we have Lens Flares, ERP, and HDRP. Um, or HDRP. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, lens flare tool, a collection of lens flare elements and pre-made flares for the URP and the HDRP. And then we get smart library asset manager. To be honest, of all of the ones out there, this is the one I could probably see installing. Like there's a few things I install every single time I use Unity for anything like beyond the smallest demonstration. Uh, generally, Odin, script inspector, full screen editor, uh, and a couple of other tools. I can see this one actually being added to it. It's just an added asset manager. You can drag and drop things in here. It gives you better detailed thumbnails of what they are, and you can organize, you can search for them, and then you can instantiate directly into your world from these smart libraries. So boost your project's organization by adding a library window, allows you to organize assets into collections so you can easily find the ones you want during content creation. Uh, and I think you can actually save them between projects, but I'm not 100% certain on that. But uh, it's definitely a cool one, one I'm going to check out in more detail in the future. And if you've used this one and you have an opinion, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And then we have Mesh Slicer, which uh, I think is just basically a Boolean tool. Let's see what it does. So slice and yeah. So it's if you're going to make the next, uh, oh, what the hell is that ninja game called? Nin ninja Fruit. Ninja Fruit in 3D, a mesh slicer could be where it's at. So cut meshes, several meshes and colliders, including box collider, sphere collider, collapsical collider, and mesh collider, uh, skinned mesh support, easy to extend, fast algorithm, cut by knife, cut by plane, etc. cetera. Uh, then we've got the high road engine. And this is another one, probably the one that I'm personally gonna play around with a little bit, uh, cause I love the work. These are the guys, more mountains. These are the guys behind the Corgi engine. Uh, and this is another um, game engine for easiest way to create arcade racing games of your dreams, whether you plan a solo, local or online multiplayer game, got you covered. Brought to you by the creators of Corgi engine, the infinite runner engine. Uh, this asset will bring you everything you need to make your next micro machines like game. Uh, no, nothing specifically about pipelines, but I got a feeling it doesn't matter. Um, so if you want to create a racing game, uh, their, their stuff has been rock solid in the past. I haven't played with this one specifically, uh, but it's probably everything you need to go ahead and create racing style games. Uh, and then we have Tail Animator for uh, animating tails, literally. <laughs> so instant setup with a few clicks. Uh, so let's see, nothing specifically. Looks like it's standard render pipeline, but I'm not 100% on that one. Package works on all standard render pipelines. Okay, so that's kind of cool right there. And yeah, if you want to have a uh, high performance skinned tails in your game, or it's not just tails, I guess you could do tentacles and ropes and other things as well. That is what Tail Animator is all about. And then finally, we have Survival Engine for creating those crafting, building, farming style games that we all know and love at this point in time. Uh, it's a framework for creating those kind of games. Uh, works with uh, ERP and the built-in, but not the HDRP. Truth of the matter is, I just couldn't see making this kind of game in HDRP anyways, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but you see here, player controls, third person, first person, and so on, full crafting system, uh, things for like storing stuff, combat, farming, and so on. So all the game systems you need to create these style of games are provided in this bundle. So I would, I honestly say that this is one of the best Unity bundles I've seen yet on Humble. It's just a shame that the, the market for Unity bundles isn't as high as it used to be for good reason. Uh, but if you are still in the Unity ecosystem, especially if you're hesitant to invest much money on the asset store, well, the good news here is you're getting a lot of stuff for a very little amount of money. So it's not a huge risk. And I I quite love this, this bundle, but I love tools. I love uh, visual scripting things. I love extensions that make Unity better. And I even like these game frameworks, especially um, things from the, the same guys that made Corgi Engine. Corgi Engine was awesome. Uh, so here again, first tier right there, $1. This is the median price tier. We'll see what that ends up being. Uh, that's what you're getting there specifically. I do find this hilarious right now. I don't know if this is literally their logo or if it's missing, but the loading screen one might be loading. I think that actually might be their logo. I don't know if this is a joke or not, but I'm curious to see when this goes live if it's still this way because I do find that hilarious. And then finally, the full fat bundle, everything for $35 USD. A lot of these things were $35 or more. So for example, uh, if we went with the high road engine right here, this guy is, uh, I think, $65. Yeah, 60 bucks right there. So if you get that one, you basically pick it up and then the entire rest of the bundle was free and you still saved half price on the bundle. So uh, it's... It's just a great bundle overall. Again, of course, Unity uh, 
did Unity things. And I know a lot of people have left Unity, and I can understand that. By the way, a lot of times I tell you, you can use these assets in other engine. In this particular case, there is not a single asset here that is useful outside of Unity. But if you are looking for some assets that could be used outside of Unity, or you're a Unity developer looking for some creative assets, there is this great mega bundle going on as well. Uh, and if you're still in the Unity ecosystem, or if you're in another game engine and you're willing to jump through some hoops to export some things, uh, this is definitely one to look at. Everything here was released in 2023, and it costs 23 bucks. Now, it didn't pick this one up, but it's got a $20 tier and a $23 tier. Comments putting this out to me, 20, 23, I get it. I didn't get it at the time. So it isn't as stupid as a tier as I thought it was. It's just a joke. So uh, let me know what you think of this bundle in the comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.